just arrived at this uh, undisclosed site and uh, they've asked me to take a look at uh, this right here. So they've got a, you know, pretty standard rack computer and a switch, but this is the issue right here. There's a ton of wiring coming down from the ceiling and it said fire marshal, um, for obvious reasons, can't accept that. It needs to be in one eighth conduits and needs to look uh, considerably more professional and away from that um, fire sprinkler pipe. As you can see, it's gonna flow right, right to there. Um, <laughs> I don't know who did this, but clearly they just didn't care. Maybe they didn't have any responsibility and someone didn't really watch out um, for what they should have been doing because there's no way you should be draping that much wire uh, or any wire actually without going through conduit much less you can see that the weight of this has actually bent some of this ceiling framing and now it's pinched so there's a great possibility that that sharp edges will cut this wire and I think that's oh my lord look at this that is an actual extension cord going up there definitely not rated for going into the ceiling so not only should you not have an extension cord but there's going to be a sharp edge right there when they connect and this could be cutting right into it um, so they could lose their old network just from that and then of course they have all this extra wiring now some of this is standard cat 5 uh, but then you see uh, some of these guys here that is security uh, so they might be Nope, that's not coax. That is security, but that is a standard Cat 5e as well. So we got quite a bit of uh, work that I'm going to have to figure out how to route this. I'm going to try and center this, see if I can find some extra white ceilings. But um, so I, I removed some of this, and I wanted to show you this is the kind of work that sometimes, as a network engineer, you encounter in these different areas, and it's just just very unfortunate. Um, in addition to you know trying to center that and get that right. Uh, take a look at the ceiling. Um, <laughs> you know, they, I, I, it looks like they had a, uh, another ceiling here, then they put a drop ceiling just below it. My guess is it was just a matter of cost savings. I mean, it's only down there by like maybe three inches, what, seven centimeters max. Uh, but when we go up here, I'm not sure how visible that is, but you can see people, whoever was up here and did this didn't do it right. They just tossed it up here, uh, tossed a bunch of styrofoam. Um, up here, so the challenge with that is, is not only do they have a lower ceiling, but jeez, <laughs> oh, take a look at that. So we have some piece of metal just bent there. I'm not sure, but take a look at all this Cat Five, and and there is by the way that power cord, and now you can probably observe just how sharp that is. So you got a power cord running through the ceiling. Power cords are not rated to be installed permanently, and this is definitely uh, a, a violation of fire codes. Um, and I'm just trying to just see what else they got. They got some sharp wire there. I don't know what that's coming from. Um, so it's going to be a bit of a challenge to figure out how to route this properly. Obviously, this is not going to do it, and you can see when I move this just so heavy it's just really taut there it should never be that tight there should be a service loop right now they left maybe a two feet for service loop you know when you do this type of uh, network you should have at least uh, 15 feet of service loop in case you need to move it if they had done that I would have been able to take all this wiring at 15 feet and relocate it well past and move it over there or uh, another solution would be maybe easier to bring it to the middle and then down uh, so it's going to definitely be a challenge to try and overcome how we're going to reroute this. And um, unfortunately, this is keeping all of their data and systems up and running. If we shoot over here, they have uh, for their TVs, but in there we've got some servers in that uh, APC data closet. So got some work up there. Luckily, I'm not touching that wiring. That looks exactly like. <laughs> it looks exactly like. Oh wow. And there's the extension cord. <laughs> what the hell? There's the extension cord, which is strange because they have power there. So why do they bring in another extension cord? Maybe they did one and then the other and they didn't want to unplug it. I don't know. I'm going to see if I can take that out because that's definitely a fire hazard. Um, anyway, so it's just another day just trying to figure out how to properly wind this and wire this um, so that we, you know, don't end up having this Oh, wow, that's coming apart, too. Oh, good Lord. Gosh. All right, so I've got my work cut out ahead of us. 
Um, if you've seen anything like this before, feel free to leave a comment. It's always interesting sometimes to see how um, corporations, in this case, this is actually a government corporation, how some of them just uh, take over their, uh, you know, how they keep up with their wiring. Sometimes they take these outside vendors and their responsibility is to get it done. And they're not really held accountable for how to get something done. So you see, you know, why APs just hanging about randomly, um, you know, zip tied instead of Velcroed, no service loop. Clearly, that's a botch job. Very bad there. Um, they've got computers. Oh, look, they've got a computer just just enough to avoid in case they got water that spills up. But then they got a bunch of wires in the UPS. Um, not really raised up properly, even though they have sufficient room, they could have done it in both of these racks. And I think they got a mismatch of racks there. So it's it's very much a hodgepodge of work. And you can imagine if you were a network engineer and you had to get back here and get something done, or if you had to walk someone through something, you wouldn't know which is what, right? Uh, where's the router located? Where's the switch? I mean, I think they got another, they got a sonic wall right there, uh, smack dab in the middle. So. Go ahead and get this started and uh, thanks for watching feel free to subscribe and if you have questions or comments yeah you know let me know what you guys think uh, when you go into your company if they have a data closet like this is this what it looks like or <laughs> is it better